practical SQL Server 2012, administration and programming, sample databases, conceptual diagram of uh, AdventureWorks entity model, We have uh, three links listed. The first one is uh, AdventureWorks Diagrams. So this is not related to 2012. This is the original AdventureWorks, which uh, is uh, SQL Server 2005. And HTML and Visio versions available. As far as the 2012 version, uh, that is not available and uh, not that much different. Adventure work cycle business scenarios can be found at this web page and Adventure Works Data Dictionary at uh, the bottom web link. Let's uh, visit the download site for Adventure Works diagrams. This is the download site and uh, we can download it in HTML format. Also we can download it in um, Visio format. This is the folder, the diagram collection folder. So this is the HTML which was downloaded uh, recently and uh, this is the Visio version. As we see the AdventureWorks 2008 HTML diagram and the conceptual diagram was downloaded in 2008. At the time of this recording, um, it is not known where can you find these uh, two files. We are looking at uh, the entity model for the AdventureWorks uh, database and the keys are, the red arrow is generalization and the line is association. For example, the association between phone number type and person phone is one too many. If uh, we zoom in, we can see the many is represented by star. It means that uh, a person phone can be uh, many type for such as it can be mobile phone, it can be house phone, it can be iPhone, it can be other mobile device as well, it can be satellite phone. When we examine the relationship between person and person phone, let's zoom in. What we see is uh, many to many relationships. That means a person can have many phones and uh, a phone can belong to many persons. Probably uh, many persons can be one or two for all practical reasons, but as far as the cardinality of this relationship concerned, it is many to many relationship. The cardinality of a relationship is very important when we are doing logical database modeling. This is where we establish actual entities and the relationship between the entities our thinking has to be straight to get the database design right in terms of uh, cardinality of relationships. The main cardinality is of course one to many or the op opposite of it we can see many to one and it can be many to many. Also it can be one to zero or one or one to one. When we are doing logical database modeling we are talking about entities and um, at physical 
database modeling time, these entities will become database tables. If we look at the cardinality of the relationship between a person and password, it is 1 to 0 or 1 to 1. 1 to 0 means that the person doesn't have a password. 1 to 1 means that a person has a password. Let's examine the person subsection of uh, the entity diagram. A store contact is a person. An individual is a person. A salesperson is a person. And a vendor contact is a person. The individual can be a customer for uh, the enterprise. And in this case, the enterprise is an imaginary bicycle manufacturing company around 300 employees. This is a fictional company which was invented by Microsoft SQL Server staff. We need to define the cardinality of a relationship between person and email address and as we see it is one to many that means a person can have one or many email addresses or in fact none. Frequently it happens that in the database we cannot be as loose as a person can have or not a data an email address. In that case uh, we would uh, define a constraint requiring that a person should have at least uh, one email address. Business entity is a collection entity for persons, stores, and vendors. It is a little bit strange that a person is mixed with uh, business entities and uh, such as stores or vendors, but um, in this case a person can uh, be a customer of Adventure Work Cycles. So just like a store buying a bicycle and buying parts or buying accessories later on, that is the reason that uh, conceptually a person belongs to business entity just like a store or a vendor. Although volume-wise probably the person is only buying one bike or two bikes as opposed to a store which may buy hundreds of bikes in a year. Let's examine the nature of associations for a business entity and a business contact, business entity address. What we see that uh, the cardinality of the relationship between address type and business entity address is one to many, that means uh, business entity address can have several types of uh, addresses. And the relationship between business entity and business entity address is many to many. That means a business entity can have many addresses and the many can be only one. And similarly, a business entity address can have many businesses. That means 
two businesses or three businesses at the same address. The cardinality of a relationship between address and business entity address is uh, one to many. That means the same address can occur more than once in business entity address. One example for that when the address type is actually different. The cardinality of the contact type and business contact is one to many. This is very typical for the type table. So type means categorization. So a category can have several items and that is uh, signified by the one to many relationships. The relationship between business contact and business entity is uh, many to many. That means a business entity can have zero to many contacts and uh, similarly a contact can represent zero to many business entities. Recapping, database design starts with uh, logical data modeling and with logical data modeling we create entities and uh, the relationship is defined among the entities as well at this time. We are working at the logical level so we are not interested at this point how the actual entity will be represented in the database that will come at uh, physical database design time, physical database modeling. The most important task in uh, logical database modeling is defining the entities correctly and uh, defining the relationships among the entities as we see in this diagram. Special software is available for uh, logical database design which uh, makes the task quite easy. In fact, once the logical database diagram is completed, database script can be generated uh, to create tables and um, other database objects such as primary keys can be defined, foreign keys can be defined and the relationships among the tables can be defined automatically by the script generator. This is AdventureWorks 2008.pdf. We can see the actual database design. So this is the physical model of the logical data model we considered at least very high level previously. When we expand zoom in. We can see the schemas in uh, different colors. Sales purchasing person, this is what we considered at the conceptual level. Production human resources, DBO is uh, unrelated, this is uh, system maintenance. If we zoom in more, We can see the tables which uh, corresponds to entities in the logical database model and the relationship, how it's defined 
the arrow indicates one to many relationships. So this is the cardinality of the relationships. In uh, terms of keys, it means that uh, a foreign key for address type ID, F key 1, points to the primary key of the address type table. The primary key of the address type table is address type ID. When we look in Management Studio Object Explorer and expand tables, we'll see the table list corresponding to the diagram and uh, the schemas are human resources, person, production, and sales. In sales, the cardinality of sales order header and sales order detail tables is one to many. That means for each sales order, there is a header and there can be at least one or many details line. For example, if only single item ordered, that's only one detail. If 10 items ordered, then there is one header line and 10 detail lines. And we should be able to see this in the diagram. In the sales order details table, the sales order ID is a foreign key and it is actually part of a combined primary key for this table and it is referencing the primary key of sales order ID in the sales order header table. So the kind of relationship is one to many. So one sales order header can have one or many sales order detail lines. Practically, this means that uh, the line items for an order would be listed. It would be a row in the sales order detail table. We have considered logical database modeling and actually we have seen the actual physical database model implementation of a logical model and um, in uh, theory it looks very simple to think of information in terms of entities and relationship among the entities. In practice it requires practice the design of a few databases to get a real hang of the process. As we go along with uh, the sample databases, we are going to get more familiar with the process and how logically we can define the entities and the relationships the right way so that we arrive to a very good database. This is the end of the unit.